Whoopi Goldberg of The View has criticized a producer for attempting to attract her attention following a commercial break. Whoopi was already chatting with a camera operator on Monday's episode of The View when it returned from one of its final commercial breaks. She smiled mischievously and asked, Are you pointing at me because you want me to do something, don't you? Rather than just wishing them welcome back to the program. A mask-wearing crew member was shown laughing and nodding when the camera turned around to face them. Whoopi went on, looking out into the crowd to see what the crew member had to say. She was supposed to look at the women, and that's what she found, shirts from the view. Whoopi grinned slyly and started talking. Well, I'm looking at their shirts. I don't know if you can see the front of their shirts. The two women with the end-of-show phrase from The View printed on their vibrant yellow sweatshirts came into focus as the camera zoomed around them. Whoopi advised, but first, stay right there. We appreciate everyone who tuned in. We are appreciative of everyone's attendance. And we would like to say to everyone, look at the shirts there, have a great day, and take a moment to enjoy The View. Whoopi delivered the phrase in a humorous way and the audience applauded as the camera once again displayed the exclusive The View sweatshirts. Meanwhile, Whoopi's co-hosts saved her from a humiliating public setback on daytime television. The fleeting moment happened near the conclusion of the show on Monday. The ladies of The View discussed a man who worries that his girlfriend will spoil her dog if she does the same to her child during the February 13 program. Moron. No, exclaims Whoopi to the camera. Sarah Haynes claimed that because her dogs were spoilt little brats, she was living proof that spoiling pets does not equate to spoiling children. Anna Navarro held up her coffee mug with a picture of her dog and said, There's no such thing as over-coddling your pets. Alyssa Farah Griffin concurred that children and spoilt dogs did not go hand in hand. Sunny Houston concurred, stating that having so many pets at home had turned her house into a farm. Sunny stated, I want to make sure that my children are decent human empathetic beings. Whoopi then cuts in, asking, Are we heading out? There's a pause now. Is it not the time to head home? It's a commercial this, since everyone appears really uptight. One of her co-hosts on television can be heard telling viewers at home, Don't do that again. Whoopi appears to have attempted to leave the show during a commercial break in the past, believing they were no longer recording, based on the back-and-forth dialogue. Recently, Whoopi has become irritable on the chat show on daytime television, particularly with the producers and staff. The 67-year-old became irritated with a producer during Wednesday's show, who insisted that she finish her conversation with Liam Neeson. The Oscar-nominated actor was barraged with questions by co-anchors Anna and Joy Bihar, who dominated most of the debate. Whoopi was about to introduce herself, stopping as if she were going to read anything from the teleprompter, when she gave a show producer a backhand clap. Whoopi paused to collect herself before launching into a brief tirade on live television. It seems that she was tired of producers simply throwing stuff up on the teleprompter. The conflict escalated when she was ordered to retract an earlier statement she had made on the Super Bowl. Hold up, it seems like I misspoke at the beginning of the show, she added. Patrick Mahome won MVP and conducted his second Super Bowl raid last night. The TV celebrity, however, took exception at the teleprompter adjustment and angrily yelled at the producers, you stopped me for that. The audience chuckled at the awkward moment as Whoopi glared at the cameras. Plus, when Whoopi made her point in an episode of The View back in January, she flagrantly disregarded the morning show producer's request. 